Hi everyone, this is Erin from Sandpaper Road and today I'm sharing with you just a real quick showcase of Autumn Moods Paper Collection by Craft O'Clock. This is new in the Sandpaper Road shop in the USA and it's shipping right now and I will put a link right up here where you can click right over to that if you're interested and um, it'll also be in the description box. Now, um, do kind of mind, I have a little boo-boo on my thumb so sorry about that but I didn't want to hold up the video just because I had a boo-boo so let me show you what is in the new collection oh my goodness um, all of these sets the 8x8 the 12x12 the junk journal and the extra set they're all sold separately um, however you can subscribe to the Sandpaper Road YouTube channel for free. And as a subscriber, you can use the coupon code SRYT15. That stands for Sandpaper Road YouTube 15% off. So you can use that coupon code at checkout and you can save 15% on your entire shopping cart. Let me show you a look at a peek at these, um, what the autumn mood paper looks like. I've already taken the plastic off. First of all, this is the eight by eight, and I love that there's cut aparts around the back of the packaging. So you've got, okay, let's see, before I go any further, what do we have here? We have um, 24 double-sided sheets, 24. And oh my gosh, if you've never ha had a pack of craft o'clock paper, Paper Lovers Unite. It smells so good. Look at these pumpkins. Look at these pumpkin images. Sunflowers, fall. This is really, really, really beautiful. Brand new in the shop. I am so excited. Probably not as ecstatic as my other unboxings because I did look at these already. So my initial shock and awe has already um, sort of... Uh, come and gone off camera look at the bird but I'm telling you that every time I look at these I just love them if you look at the mushrooms just look at the mushrooms I love how and the script it's just real subtle I love the eclectic nature of craft o'clock papers they're just so pretty in this leaf and then it repeats. So you've got, um, let's see, four each in this paper collection um, of the designs I just showed you. You get four. Isn't that nice? And let me show you inside the uh, junk journal set. I'm sorry, the extra set. Let's do that first. That was in my hand already. Now these are fussy cut extras, but I can share with you from personal experience that you can use your um, scan and cut machine if you have one and it does work really well I actually find that if you use this side on the scan and cut as opposed to this side um, that it works well and yes you saw that right these are double-sided images so if you're uh, someone especially somebody who does like mixed media and things like that and this is a good example this was another project I just did um, and there's a tutorial and I can link to that, but the, po the point is that, see how there's a lot of dimension here? with These leaves and things that stick up. Well, when you're working, if you're the kind of artist that does a lot with dimension, then you'd have a tendency to see like the underside of some of these dimensional pieces. And so um, it's really nice when you have a double-sided, um, like a double-sided image, that then if you catch just a glimpse of the underside, you're catching the same image. I don't know how else to explain it. I know it seems a little lengthy to explain. Look at the snails and the mushrooms and the birds. It's really a nice collection. I, I believe I said in a previous post somewhere on social, it might have been on Instagram, this is the only fall collection you need. This is the only fall collection you need. Now, it's certainly, you can extend your collection if you uh, wanted to pick up any of the monochromatic, um, <clears throat> the monochromatic paper collections. There's brown, there's green, um, 
you know, there's gray. So a lot of good things that would sort of like extend the life of your autumn moods paper collection. I love this. I love this. It just really captures the essence of fall. And I love that it's available now in September, right when fall is just getting going and we've still got some warm days left. So this is really great for fall cards, albums, birthday cards, my goodness, birthday cards, um, all kinds of things. If you do, I think I'm into the repeating part. This one uh, comes with 12 double-sided papers, so you get two of each design, like two of each page, plus this extra one, which is on the back of the packaging, which I really like a lot. Like like the quilts, and um, it's got really that outdoorsy type type feel to it. So super. That's the extra set. And then we have the junk journal set here. Okay. And again, on the back of the packaging, you've always got, which you can always use these, but um, let's see. This front sheet is a little bit thinner, although most of these are 250, yeah, 250 GSM is the weight of the paper. It's nice, heavy, almost like a cardstock weight of pattern paper. So this is the junk journal set. I love these. They look like bow ties, but really what you, they're like belly bands. If you adhere down this side and then this side, then you've got like a little pocket to um, stick something in the middle. And tab folders, which is cool that they do it on here because then you've actually got the back of something, you know. I am in love with these little partial film strips. I think it's great. It's a great addition to the junk journal um, collection sets. But every once in a while you'll have on the back a full side. So like, I mean, maybe you're, maybe these are played out for you, this side. Well, then you've got a nice uh, other uh, scrapbooky type side, pattern paper side. The corners, uh, simply cut, fold the corners, adhere right there, and you've got a pocket. Easy peasy. Again, another pattern paper side, mini envelopes and extra embellishments and adornments. And I love this pattern paper. Anything that's got that wood pattern paper, I just love it. These are so cool. And look at these. These, if you cut these out, then you've got a place to put like cut aparts and things like that, or some of the ephemera. You can put it right inside this pocket. You would just adhere here, here, and here. And actually, you'd probably have to put just a little bit of adhesive on the inside to make like a um, like a stopper, you know, if you were putting in things like that in layers. <gasps> and more of that mushroom paper. And here is some traditional cut-aparts. These make card making so easy. So easy. Another of this. Um, traditional autumn paper. And look at this. It looks like it was inked or watercolored with just the subtleness of the tree images. Is this on the back of this? A nice, a nice good uh, page here. I don't know what this is called. I always call it like a bonus large card is I, basically what I call it. But that is so cool when you're doing like mini albums or things or scrapbooks, like full size 12 by 12 scrapbooks. Uh, little tags, tickets. I just can't get enough of the tickets. The tickets, though. And then it repeats. So you've got another another full set of all six of those. So that is the junk journal set. Okay. And now we'll take a look at the 12 by 12. This is what you've been waiting for, isn't it? I know you've gotten a look at the... Whoops. Uh, on the back... They always do on the 12 by 12, which I love. They give you some ephemera tags, cutouts, little embellishments and things. Um, really nice for your oversized projects. Look at the paper, look at the paper. A bluish pumpkin is just great. I love it, I love it. Cause you know that your photos from this time of year, this autumn time of year, are gonna have this like grayish blue sky. So how perfect to have something naturally in the paper that will enhance those 
pictures. Really, really nice. More of this paper. It looks inked or watercolored. This is beautiful, beautiful paper. You can tell I'm sort of a 12 by 12 person at heart. Um, wow, look at that. I don't know if you catch this, but see this like the swirlies kind of behind it and the print behind it. It looks like it's been layered. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful. You know what I should do? I should make a video of what to do because sometimes people aren't really sure what to do with paper that has images already printed on it because they don't want to cover it up with a photo. But um, I've got some ideas up my sleeve. Same here, like this. So nice. Mm, mm, mm. Just beautiful. I, man, I could do this right now with these two right now. I bet with these two as well. Yep. Where's that other one? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So many ideas. I suppose I have to take more fall pictures. I'm going to end up with all these scrapbook layouts and projects that don't have pictures in them because I don't have, I, I just love the paper, so I make the projects sometimes, and then I don't have pictures to put in the, in the projects. Look at this. Look at the color palette. Wow. So neat. I love this little green, this green. Yeah, that's really great. By itself, you might tend to shy away from that ink color, paint color, cardstock color, whatever, but when you combine it in with all these other, um, this autumn palette, it really is beautiful. Just love it. And uh, finishing it off with this uh, full size uh, traditional leaf paper with the nice top and bottom border and some text. So this is Autumn Moods by Craft O'Clock. Absolutely fantastic for your uh, September, October, November uh, crafty needs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then ring the bell icon to get notifications. And as a subscriber, then you can use uh, coupon code SRYT15 when you are shopping at sandpaperroad.com. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.